Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and welcome back to the Found on Food Buzz 24 item tasting menu. As you know, this was inspired by Food Buzz's 24 meals in 24 hours on 24 blogs event. This is the middle, items 9 through 16. All right, so item number 9 was an incredibly delicious wonton soup. Look at that. So, so delicate, so amazing. Wontons are easy. All right, I chopped some chicken thigh meat up with a cleaver, some ginger, some green onions, some hot sauce, a little bit of soy. That's all you need. It's not fancy. And they sell these wonton wrappers at the store. I use the square ones. A little bit of water around the outside. Don't put too much filling in. Just a little half a teaspoon. You fold it over like that to make a triangle. Okay, you make sure the edges are sealed. And then, here's how we're going to finish this. All right, you're going to take the wonton and you're going to just press your finger right on the top there. Sorry, a motorcycle's going by. All right, a little more water, and then just fold the two flaps up and cross them. Now watch this. You fold, cross, and press, and there you go. That's a wonton. And of course, you don't throw wontons into some, you know, packaged chicken stock. I had to make some nice, fresh chicken stock. You boil those for about five minutes, and then I would served one per bowl with that delicious, rich stock over, a couple green onions. So good. Make some wontons. All right, the next items was kind of our poultry courses. So here we go with number 10. This was a grilled quail, kind of a tandoori curry type thing. I marinated the quail in yogurt and a tandoori spice. I grilled it on this grill pan. And uh, quail, you don't want to cook too much, so you just want that kind of, uh, you know, a little bit pink inside. So that grilled for about four minutes per side. And then I topped it with some really sweet cherry tomatoes and some red curry oil. And it just was a great combination. You know, I'm calling it like a tandoori quail, but it's just a grilled quail. Yogurt makes a great marinade for any kind of poultry. All right, item 11 was a chicken ballantine. Now that sounds fancy, and it is, but it's actually fairly simple. It's just a rolled, boneless piece of chicken, stuffed with something. In this case, I went really minimalist. Fresh herbs, tarragon, a little rosemary, a little oregano, a lot of salt and pepper. I just did a butcher tie in that, rolled it up, seared it in a nice hot pan, roasted it for 20 minutes, let it rest, and sliced it. So delicious. And what made it even more incredible, I did a little reduction of chicken stock with some Dijon mustard and cream. Really, really nice. So that's a chicken ballantine, and I will demo that one of these days on the site. Item 12, duck confit, one of my favorite foods of all time. All right, duck confit is just a slowly cooked duck leg usually. I crisped up the skin. I served it with some green lentils, a little bit of arugula. And an item I've shown on the site before, gastrique, which is a fruit and vinegar sauce. Really, really good. So uh, check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. All right, on to the pork. Love the pork. Course 13, wild pig and fig. This is a great wild boar sausage. I skewered that with a dry mission fig that I just poached in a little bit of red wine. Underneath, that is a balsamic reduction, just some aged balsamic reduced. What a great combination. Item 14, pork and pickled peppers, which is just a roasted piece of pork tenderloin. Very simple, very basic. So what you do here, you just slice some peppers really thin. These are just sweet peppers, organic peppers I got at Whole Foods. All right, they're nice and sweet, so they make a great pickled pepper. A quick sear in a hot pan and a little olive oil, just literally a minute in a really hot pan. And it just softens them a little. All right, some rice wine vinegar some salt, and just a little dash of olive oil. All right, so those are warm, so it kind of soaks it in. Put that in the fridge overnight, and the next day you have beautiful pickled peppers. On the top there you see some caramelized shallots. So you got the nice, moist, tender roast pork, the pickled peppers kind of sweet and sour underneath, and the sweet shallots on top, really nice. Course 15, potted pork shoulder. Uh, there's very few things as delicious as slow roasted pork. So here's what I did with this. This is, uh, I'm calling it potted pork, but it's almost like a pork confit. That is a bone-in shoulder roast. Okay, it's also called pork butt, and uh, I don't have time to explain why they call it a shoulder butt, but uh, anyway. I'm gonna stud this with garlic, so I just made some holes in it. I cut some garlic into like little slivers, and I put about 10 or 12 of those in various places. Some fennel, some dried Italian herbs, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, 
all right, some olive oil, and I'm going to toss that, rub that together. Now what's going to happen here? This is a very, very old-fashioned dish. I have this little cast iron Le Creuset, kind of a small Dutch oven. I'm just going to press that pork in there. I'm going to put the lid on, and I'm going to cook it in a really slow oven, like 250 degrees for three or four hours, really gently, really slow, until it cooks and becomes really, really tender, falling apart. I'm going to chill it overnight, take off the fat. I'm going to reserve the jelly to reduce into a sauce. I put a little bit of veal stock in there. And I also cut up the meat while cold into chunks, which makes it really easy to cut. And uh, that's how it came out on white bean puree. All right, I put a little bit of sage in that juice when I reduced it. That was incredible. All right, item 16, an incredible French onion soup. I just demoed this on the site, so you can check out that video. Very few things is delicious. Well, I just said that about the pork. But very few things as delicious as a French onion soup with real cave-aged Gruyere. Look at that, come on. That cheese kind of melts into that rich stock and those caramelized onions, unreal. Anyway, that's the end of the middle. Stay tuned for the conclusion of this epic 24-item tasting menu.